jumped onto our table. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. The look on his face when she got up there with him. Come on, it's my birthday. I'm allowed to cut loose once a year. Cutting loose yeah, is one can. thing. Chasing the guy all the way back to his house. Hey, hey, ladies. Uh, you're watching the guys take the clothes off? Oh, hey. no. maniac rapes and murders a woman, we revile him for the monster he is. But when he repeats the act, makes it a serial killing, he becomes something more, a media event. We give him a name like Lonely Hearts Killer. We devote pages of print to his exploits. It becomes folk hero and boogeyman all rolled into one. The papers sell like hotcakes. I guess everybody profits, except the string of beautiful young women who had the misfortune of meeting him face to face. But you'd seen too much on this one already. I'd seen enough before it started. I don't know, maybe I was hoping it wasn't him, or uh, he'd given up or something. The only way a guy like this gives up is if we make him. I sure hope it happens soon. Me too. 47 anti-crime is available. Hey, call. We can wait for the coroner's report, but I don't think there's any doubt. It's got to be the same guy. The pattern of the wounds is all the same. And she was raped. Press going to love getting a hold of this one. That gets off on his press. It's a damn problem, isn't it, Frank? Don't you hang around to a friend's excuse the report. See you back at the shop. If he comes up, we'll be in touch. OK. Come to it. I get the feeling this was a random thing. Could have been any one of those women. Just keep looking at those pictures. It could have been anyone in the club. Leave the guy's green shoes. Don't bother to take your coats off. You're going right back out again. What do you got? Forensics knew the piece of material we found at the first killing was from a pair of city services overalls. They analyzed the stain. It turns out it was pipe fitters grease. Not bad. Even better. They did a check of the traffic tickets in the area of the homicide. Come up with a gas company van. What do you think? I think you should get the hell down there and find out who was driving that van. Any luck?
he is busy. Yeah, well, look, tell your wife she can have you every night and every day. Yeah, yeah, well, now that, that sounds that sounds better. Yeah, pick up Randy on your way over. Yeah, right, bye. Oy. What can I do for the two of you? Trying to locate one of your vans? What for? Part of investigation. SMO 328, Tuesday night. SMO 328, uh, that would be Al Gaines. But look, he couldn't be involved in anything. I know. They are all a great bunch of guys. Can we locate this man? He's downstairs uh, in the locker room, uh, but uh, he couldn't have done it. Thanks. Uh, uh... Albert Gaines? What is this? What it is is you're under arrest with diesel homicide. You're crazy. Somebody's crazy. It means we're gonna find out who. Well, well. There'll be a lot of folk downtown happy tonight. Let's go. Elaine, can't you give us the suspect's name? All I can say at this time is that an arrest was made in the case this evening. Now, the identity of the suspect will be withheld until he's formally released. But you're sure he's the killer? Well, information obtained during the course of the investigation leads us to believe that the suspect we have in custody is the killer. Yeah, what do you think you're going to charge him? Well, we're not sure. Perhaps later this evening. Um, that'll be all for now, ladies You know better than that, Tommy. Get him out of here. Yes. I don't want anybody else in here. Well, that should be enough to keep them happy. Oh, I doubt it. I mean, that bunch will not be happy until they learn his shoe size, his favorite food, and what his first grade teacher thought of him. One step at a time, I guess. I think you're right. I think we should low-key it until we find out which way it's going. Yeah. Lieutenant, Forensics is working on Gaines's locker and van. The warrant for his apartment is on the way. Here's something you'll be interested in. Turns out Gaines has a record after all. He was arrested in 1981 for assault on a woman. Bet those wolves out there jump on that. You know, we might have reason to break out a bottle and celebrate before the night's over. Lieutenant, Kevin and Frank just arrived with Gaines. They're bringing him up the back way right okay, now. Okay, make sure they bring him directly to interrogation. I don't want that bunch to get wind of them. Right. You over by the door. Nobody gets in here unless we say it's okay. Now, after we've had a crack at him, I want a full psychiatric evaluation done on him. You take him, put him in the tank. So what did he say? He had lunch, lost his tongue on the way down here. Do you think it's him? From the way he ran when he saw me, I'd say he looks pretty good for it. I want you to go in there and help him find that lost tongue, okay? Just gonna help you out. Sit down. Mister, I just don't understand you. When a guy's in the kind of trouble you're in, I think he'd be busting his hump trying to make some friends. What trouble? I, I didn't do anything. Man says he didn't do anything. What do you think about that? I think that he ought to start telling the truth. I, I'm telling you the truth. I, I don't know anything about a homicide. Four homicides, Gaines. Four women were raped and murdered. You think I did that? Sit down. It says here that you are quite a ladies' man. Oh, come on. It was a girl I was seeing. I dumped her and she got crazy. But it got settled out of court before we even went to trial. When you get to talking, you got all the answers, don't you? So why don't you tell us where you were on Tuesday night around 11? Working, I was, uh, I was checking into a, a leak in the East End all night. That why your van was parked on 5th the night of the murder? Well, maybe it wasn't all night. That's not good enough. Come on. I went to visit a guy. What guy? Just a guy. Just a guy? You gotta do better than that. I don't know his name. He was like a, a, a friend of a friend. A friend of a friend. I was picking up the grass that you found. We 
were supposed to meet in the lobby of a hotel on 5th, but he, the guy never showed for about an hour. So, why did you run when you saw us? The stuff was still in my locker. I thought it was a bust. So what were you doing earlier tonight? Working. Uh, I was checking out an underground line. Any witnesses? No, nobody. It was an underground line, for God's sake. Look, you've got to believe me. You've got the wrong guy. Looks like it's gonna be a long night. That is already a long night. Swears he didn't do it. Was working all night. Forensics just called. Nothing else relating to the murders, but they did find some more pot in the guy's locker. Well, that doesn't put us any closer to where we want to be, does it? The hair the coroner found on the bodies is being checked against Gaines's coloring. And his height is consistent with the positioning of the stab wounds. Now, the hair and that piece of fabric could make it airtight. Maybe that makes it without a confession. Well, pardon me for being old-fashioned, but uh, I still think a confession never hurts. Elaine? Yes? Call for you, your line. Thank you. Excuse me. Stay on top of Gaines. I want this thing wrapped up as soon as possible. Elaine Jeffers? I saw you on the news tonight. You look good. Thank you. Who is this? A fan. Uh, I'm calling to congratulate you on catching your serial killer. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just one small problem. Uh, uh, you got the wrong guy. How do you know that? Because I'm still out here. <laughs> I, mean, I can't have others taking credit for what I've done, can I? Why should I believe you? And he didn't seem to care whether I believe him or not. I'll tell you what I believe. I'm going to start booking games, possession of marijuana. Mid South, Detective Burns. Where exactly? Mm-hmm. Right, thanks. <laughs> Lieutenant, we've got another homicide. Young woman. Looks like the same M.O. Stabbed repeatedly. She was cut up pretty bad. Gaines, he nothing as well. Looks like Gaines is in the clear. Could be a copycat. That means we got two crazies out there. Somehow it doesn't make me feel any better. What, Helen? What you got? When was the last time you saw a public phone with no fingerprints? Never. Me and they were wiped off. Clean as a whistle. Better calling you on radio for What do you got? When you've been in the business as long as I have, you see a lot of crap. There's always room for something new, I guess. Same killer? Yeah. Just caught the body a half hour ago, O'Brien. Don't have an official opinion yet. How about unofficial? Anything you can help us with. This woman was assaulted. Then she was stabbed. There are the same traces of pipe grease on her clothing. Eleven separate wounds in the chest area, some very deep. Cuts on her hands, defensive wounds, exactly. From the number of wounds, their position and angle of entry, we could be dealing with the same assailant. That's unofficial. Thanks. 
So it couldn't possibly be a copycat killer? No, this looks like the real killer. Coroner Pecky confirms it. Everything fits. We get the wrong guy in the tank. Given the estimated time of death, he must have called the lane. Yeah, right after he killed her. So he's throwing down a gauntlet, challenging us to go find him. Guy's got something to prove. You're the worst kind, Frankie. Hello. I'll be down to pick up that file later. Thanks. Hello, prosecutor's office. Hello, Elaine. How are you doing tonight? Fine, thank you. How are you? Good, Elaine. You're very good. Now, let's uh, talk business. The guy called. He's talking to Elaine right now. What do you think now, Elaine? I don't know what you mean. I'm not a fool. I know. I know you're not. How do you like your proof? I don't like it. <laughs> well, why not? I... Yeah, you made me show you proof. Why do you want to... to hurt people? Want? It's, it's not what I want. Then who wants it? Well, you're full of questions. What do you expect to get from all this? Points. Points. <laughs> In the game. It's not a game if nobody wins. I don't want to win. And I don't want to play the game. We all have to play, Elaine. We have no choice. What about the girl? What did she do wrong? Uh, well, she, uh, she had the wrong look. Uh, she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Why do you want to hurt people who don't hurt you? They all hurt me. You know, love hurts, Elaine. I may lose in the end, Elaine, but uh, not yet. Uh, not yet. For God's sake, please stop now. Uh, we have a long way to go, you and I. Long, long way. Anyway, stand by for my next message. Uh, I think you'll like it, Elaine. So, uh, something special just for you. <laughs> He's the guy. Thank you. I just wish I could have said something to stop him. Nothing anybody says could stop him. I get that right down to forensics. All right, thanks. Got it. He called from a phone booth on Parliament. Radio team's on it right now. Well, unless he gets suddenly sloppy, they won't get anything from that. He's playing with us. No, well, we still got the fibers from the uniform and the grease stain. Parking ticket through us. Everything we got still points to somebody in or around the gas company. Get on it. I want every last uniform accounted for. You OK, Elaine? I don't know. You, uh, you can't let this bastard get to you. He's making it personal. He said the next one was for me. A special one for me. It's like he needs me to complete his game. We need you to win this crazy game. Just give me a few minutes, Jim. I'll be all right. You sure? Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh, 
God, not you two guys again. Yeah, again and again till we figure this out. Gaines is not our man. I told you that. Hey, look, get the truck loaded, all right? Look, you guys gotta realize it's hard enough getting my men into the into people's houses as is without you guys painting them like a bunch of psychos. We need an accounting of your uniforms and your complete employee records. Look, why don't you just admit that you haven't got the foggiest idea who in the hell you're after? I mean, you don't like bad press either. Sorry for the inconvenience, pal, but maybe you better realize we've got a major freak on the loose and he's got some kind of access to your uniforms. Working uniforms with pipe grease on them, just like the one you're wearing? Oh, oh, so I'm a suspect now. Is that what you're saying? Everybody's a suspect. Look, this is real tough on my guys, you know? I mean, the neighbors are starting to look at them funny. They're starting to look at each other funny. We want people looking at everybody. You understand that? I don't know what else I can do for you. Just give us a list of your past employees, when they were issued uniforms and when they turned them back in. That would take a couple hours. I, I, I gotta call somebody. I have to I have to pay them overtime. Our psycho is working overtime, too. You got an hour. Hey, what's up, boss? Look, just, just get back to work, all right? All right, all right. going to have a whole lot of grief coming your way, believe me. We got more than enough already, and so do you. What do you mean? We're booking you for possession of marijuana. Take him downstairs and get a picture. No! No! It was only some pot! You have no call to do this and you hear about that stuff becoming legal, Gaines? Oh, come off it! Everybody smokes a bit. It's no big deal. Not everybody. Let's hope you run into a judge feels the same way as you do about it. I didn't kill anybody. And you have no right to do this to me. You have no right to do this to me! It's hardly worth booking him. For two ounces, he'll be back on the street in an hour. So what the hell are we supposed to do, Elaine? Huh? Forget we even found it? It's trouble with this grass scene. I mean, nobody takes it serious. Half town's whacked out in this stuff. What do we do? We sit back. Because we know we can't get a conviction. Well, some time in the can for Mr. Gaines will do him good. Uh, how about the uh, gas company? Did you uh, get anything? Yeah, uh, just a lot of attitude. How about you? Here, anything? Back to square one. How are you holding up, Blake? Hmm. Look, why doesn't everybody get out of here? Take a half hour. Clear your head. It's going to be a long night. There's gotta be a pattern here somewhere. Good night. Good night. Thanks for coming. So you can enjoy that trip. Okay. That's it for tonight. I don't get it. I mean, it's all so random. He could have been going after anybody. So why the hell did he pick me to call? You took the case. You answered his call. And like you said, random is part of his game. Mm -hmm. Gets off on it. He gets to choose. Sounds like he just enjoys playing God, deciding who stays, who goes. I don't know what game he's playing. And that's what's so terrifying. I've dealt with people who've killed before. People who've killed entire families. But there was always a reason. Revenge. Greed, drugs, something. But this guy was just random. All that pain for no reason, nothing. It's getting sicker every day. Oh, things didn't used to be like this. Something ain't right. Oh, no kidding. So who are you gonna blame for it? Right now, I don't care who's to blame. I just never want to hear his voice again, ever. I don't even want to answer the phone again. Don't you think it's quite amazing that they have the ability to turn the tables like that? Make you feel like the guilty one? Make you feel like the dirty one? I can't help thinking that if 
We didn't pay him any attention. That maybe if I didn't answer his calls, he would stop. He would... Don't blame yourself. That's exactly what he wants. But it's what he's got. What am I supposed to do, ignore it? Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Oh, Frank, how can she ignore it? There is a man out there butchering women, and she is on the list. Nikki, I know it's not easy. But you gotta force yourself not to dwell on what he did, but on what we can do to stop him. Kevin, he is making me part of it. He is pulling the strings to this sick game, and I'm dancing. Elaine, we're gonna use just that to nail this guy. Called again. He left a message this time. He says he knows we're tapping him. And? He wants to give Elaine a message, too. He'll call you on the phone at the train station in 40 minutes. We're gonna be all over that place. You won't be able to walk two feet. You'll run into one of us. Guess I don't have a choice, do I? He's still making the rules. Let's go. Thanks, Nikki. Okay, Freddy, we'll meet you there. Grab some vests on the way. All right, we're on our way. I don't like it. Neither do I. Keeping up with the phone calls, our only contact with this guy. We got no idea what can happen if she gets out of our sight. We are not gonna let her get out of our sight. How are you holding up? Not bad, considering. You know, you don't have to be brave for me being brave for you and being brave for me. Otherwise, I'd fall apart. No matter what goes down, you are going to be the safest person in that station. I've got to go through with this. This guy's got to be stopped. We didn't choose her. He did. I know. It's just she ain't trained for this. It's funny. I never think about what you go through out there on the streets. By the time I get to the crazies, they're already safely behind bars. I don't know how you deal with it every day. You get used to it. Same way you got used to making decisions that affect other people's lives. This guy's really affecting my life. I'm scared. Frank, if it was Nikki, I'd do the same thing. It is all we got, and she understands that. Change, lady? No, I'm sorry. I... Oh, here, here. Check him out, Cole. Hey, hey, what is it? What is it? Oh, hey, shut up and show me some ID. Oh, oh, yeah, you want to see the gold card or maybe the tennis club membership? Look, you want your mouth to stand on your nose? Keep it shut. Wait just a few more minutes. Yeah, hello. Where the hell are you? My bus arrived two hours ago. Yeah.
Damn piranhas are thick up there. Did you get anything? Ah, uh, it's definitely the same guy. We pegged the time of death about an hour ago, more or less. So he was right under our noses. Great. So you're all here. Good. I just got finished talking to the chief. To say he's unhappy would be an understatement. Now, where the hell are we? First the calls, then the killings. All the victims, except for the one at the bus station, were in the same target area. Gaines looked like a man. What did we miss? Unless an empty uniform is doing the killing, nothing. Well, we've checked all past and present employees who may have been connected, yeah? Yeah. We ruled out any possibility the uniforms were stolen? Mm-hmm, yeah, they're numbered, and each employee is responsible for his own. All loss or theft is reported, so? So, have a look at that. It says here five uniforms were replaced in the last six months. They were junked at the cleaners. Get on the phone. Find out who the hell's got that cleaning contract. Miss Jeffers, do you have anything new on the whereabouts of the killers? Listen, you said it was going to be a fast case, so what are you saying now? We're following up new leads. When we know something, you'll know it. But until that time, I have no further comment. Gaskin represents a big chunk of our business. Like we're talking 2,000 units a month. All right, so what happens to all these uniforms after they're picked up? Well, the drivers haul them back here, they dump them in the vats. Whoever got to them did it before they got clean. Yeah. So how many drivers pick up from the gas company? Uh, mostly Mike Murdoch. He's off. Right drivers book out at 10. Yeah? Uh, yeah. This is time card? Yeah. Can you describe him? Well, he's average. About that high uh, brown hair. Hours he worked at the time of the killings. Oh, my God. You guys don't think he's the one that's been killing all those women. We're not going to know anything until we talk to him. You got an address? Yeah, here. All right. Now, if you hear from Mr. Murdoch, I want you to call us that number. Yeah, fine. Thanks. Kevin. 
Chris ran Murdoch through the computer. He has a string of minor convictions for sex-related offenses. He was there all the time. Kevin, take a look at this. Gonna be okay, Miss Jeffers? Yes, I'll be fine, thank you. Good night, ma'am. Good night. Make sure you lock the door. I will. Thanks again. Anything? No. She's still busy. Maybe she's talking to a friend. Maybe. Get Kevin on the radio. Unit 1209. 10-4. Frankie, you and Kevin get over to Elaine's place right away. We've been trying to reach her for the past 10 minutes by phone. The line's busy. We're just a couple of minutes away. Let me know as soon as you get there. 10-4. Damn it. The way the guy was hitting on Elaine with the calls, we should have known. We should have kept the guard in her place should've, or something. Should have. Frank will be there in a couple minutes. We just hope some bitch hadn't made a move on her yet. so that we could get uh, acquainted better, <laughs> you know? Well, I guess this will have to do. <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, I... I, okay, I just want you to play the game. Like, um, you, Elaine. See, see, it's all, it's all part of the game. It's just this, this, you know, this dumb, stupid game that we all have to live.
Do you, do you understand, Elaine? Yes, I understand. <laughs> no, you don't. No, 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 you don't. But uh, it's okay, really. Because, you see, uh, the game is over. For you. A prosecutor's job can be as tough and thankless as a cop's. To stay on top of a case demands all of one's energy and emotional involvement. When the case winds up on top of you, it can demand much more. It can invade your personal life and even the lives of the people closest to you. All we can hope for is our survival and that what we're trying to do makes sense. Thanks for staying with me. No problem. All we got waiting back at the office is paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Frankie. We'll get you at that soon enough. How you feeling? Okay? I guess. It's kind of hard to believe that it's really over. He took control of my life. Oh, it only seemed that way. No one can truly control a liberated woman. You never know what you can do until you have to. I just hope I never have to do it again. This one's gonna stay with me for a long time, Jim. Well... What you're gonna do right now is get your coat and hat, Elaine, because you're gonna spend the night with Ellen and me. Oh, thanks, Jim, but I can't be afraid to stay in my own home. Ah, come on. You, you can finish your housework tomorrow. You're gonna be our guest, and that's an order, Madam Prosecutor. Sometimes it's not so bad not being in control. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Go through it every day at the station house. Uh, I hope someday yours will kind of... 